Hi, I'm Allison Hadar. Welcome to The Cook's Plate. I'm standing outside of one of New York's landmark French restaurants, The Brasserie, located at 100 East 53rd Street, and we're about to meet the executive chef, Luc Dimney. Come join us. Chef Luc, thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, with pleasure. It's a good thing to have somebody from Westchester having come to visit me here, because since I live there, and um, most of the people know me from my little experience in Westchester, and uh, exactly. I mean, it's a very good thing to have you here. Can you just tell me a little bit about your experience with cooking? Little experience about cooking, it started like uh, 25 years ago. Okay, so, um, not so little. Not so little. <laughs> Start peeling onions when, when I, had, I was 14 years old, and then um, just the path goes on, and uh, after at the age of 27, I decided to come in New York City. I had a good friend of mine okay. working here, and he said, why well, you don't come in vacation? So he was working one of the good restaurants in New York City at the time, which is closed now. And uh, he offered me to see how he was doing there. I was a three-star. Wow. And uh, the following year, they invited me to come over as a chef. Wow. And was this a big change from your life in France? It was a France? good change because, yeah. first of all, he didn't speak English. So, but three-quarter of the staff was French in the kitchen, so wow. I was like, come over and just enjoy the cooking. You don't have to talk, just do okay. your things. And you never veered off of French cooking? Uh, not really, no. Okay. I like the classic base French cooking. I like to update the old recipe and ancient recipe, old okay. recipe. So I like to update those. Uh, I think uh, for me, on my own, because I leave that to other chefs to create something a little bit more, uh, uh, are we going to say, inventive. Right. But on my own, I like to work with the real flavor, real taste of uh, each ingredient and separate uh, all those ingredients and put them back together on a plate, which match uh, a perfect combination of the flavor. So can you tell me a little bit about the ingredients you use, if you go with the seasons or where you get them and how you decide? So, uh, we have a wonderful farmer market at Hastings on the Hudson. Uh, Pascal Le Draou, like she's the director or the, the director of this little farmer market. You can find from cheese to poultry to fresh vegetable and fruit, uh, fresh pickled also, which give me the idea to cook a little tartare mousseline with my lobster. Uh, so we're going to see that also later on. And uh, so I found also the ideas at the farmer market. Most of the time, I don't have time to go there, so I send my wife or I send one of my uh, neighbor, which is, which is a, a waiter also here for 10 years. So we are all together and it's, it's almost like a family. This spring or summer, enjoy the best outdoor city dining in the heart of Midtown at La Fonda del Sol, Naples 45, Cafe Centro and the Beer Bar. Whether you're in the mood for tapas and modern Spanish, Italian, and French, or contemporary casual cuisine, our expansive outdoor patios offer the perfect urban backdrop for you to enjoy delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, or after work cocktails. It's all about true food, and true family, and, and true fun.
The Harvest on Hudson Restaurant is located 12 miles north of New York City along the majestic banks of the Hudson River in Hastings-on-Hudson, New York. Serving lunches and dinner, Harvest offers authentic Mediterranean cuisine with spectacular Hudson River views. Our attentive staff provides you with unsurpassed service, sumptuously prepared dishes served in a warm and friendly atmosphere. The Garden at Harvest is a favorite sunset destination spot and a great place to enjoy delightful appetizers, share a cocktail or glass of wine with friends. Our extensive wine cellar offers a wide selection of vintages and elegant food pairing possibilities. With seating inside or out, you'll enjoy expertly prepared poultry, fresh seafood and meats all cooked to order. For dessert, enjoy fresh fruits, cappuccino, sinful chocolate, and deep dark espresso. Or relax under the stars. For reservations or more information, call 914-478-2800. So tell me a little bit about what it's like in the kitchen. Like in a kitchen, like a chef in a kitchen, uh, there is not much difference. You have chefs who are on the field, you have chefs who like to create, uh, of course, we all like to create, but uh, some are more involved with the cooking, some don't. And uh, on my part, I'm uh, always with my crew. So on the line when they need me for special, creating special with my sous chefs, which we, uh, we try to find the last ingredient who came out. Uh, the most interesting, uh, be the first one who served soft shell this year, was gonna come out uh, in the following uh, couple of weeks, I guess, or three. Uh, things like this, so being a chef in a kitchen, it's not even a work, it's a pleasure, I guess, first, if you don't have to consider the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Very true about most things in life. Uh, I'm getting hungry. I don't know about you, but I think we should go in the kitchen and Absolutely. start preparing something. I'm going to give you a jacket. Okay, thank you. This spring or summer, enjoy the best outdoor city dining in the heart of Midtown at La Fonda del Sol, Naples 45, Cafe Centro, and the Beer Bar. Whether you're in the mood for tapas and modern Spanish, Italian, and French, or contemporary casual cuisine, our expansive outdoor patios offer the perfect urban backdrop for you to enjoy delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, or after work cocktails. Lifting down to down to round and bound and down Broadway, struggling in your It's all about true food, and true family, and, and true fun. The Harvest on Hudson Restaurant is located 12 miles north of New York City along the majestic banks of the Hudson River in Hastings-on-Hudson, New York. Serving lunches and dinner, Harvest offers authentic Mediterranean cuisine with spectacular Hudson River views. Our attentive staff provides you with unsurpassed service, sumptuously prepared dishes served in a warm and friendly atmosphere. The Garden at Harvest is a favorite sunset destination spot and a great place to enjoy delightful appetizers, share a cocktail or glass of wine with friends. Our extensive wine cellar offers a wide selection of vintages and elegant food pairing possibilities. With seating inside or out, you'll enjoy expertly prepared poultry, fresh seafood and meats all cooked to order. For dessert, enjoy fresh fruits, cappuccino, sinful chocolate and deep dark espresso or relax under the stars. For reservations or more information, call 914-478-2800. So here we are in the Brasserie Kitchen, about to prepare what looks like a very yummy dish. Yeah, we're gonna prepare in our little kitchen here. Uh, 
a lobster dish, which is going to be a virgin olive oil poached lobster. Uh, our lobster comes from Nova Scotia. I'm going to do some uh, homemade pickled spring onion and um, uh, mousseline. So the mousseline is a combination of a tartar sauce uh, with, uh, mixed with uh, whipped cream uh, to make it lighter. I'm going to start uh, right here behind me. I've got a bath, bath of hot oil which we, where I infused some uh, lemon zest. Uh, Maya lemon zest actually I use for that, thyme blossom and uh, virgin olive oil. So I've got a cold poached lobster which has been uh, boiling water for four minutes and then I'm going to soak them, the tail and the claw inside the oil bath to infuse and give the flavor to this tail and make it warm. On the other side we do have some mayonnaise, so for the mayonnaise, I use Dijon mustard, egg yolk of course, which I prepared before. I'm not going to do the demonstration of making a mayonnaise. I think the most safety one is to buy a home already done mayonnaise, so like this nobody gets sick. We're going to use some homemade pickles, chopped, so it's a dill pickled, we do that at the brasserie. Uh, it takes approximately three weeks to do a pickle. The idea came from, from the famous uh, Hastings Market. Uh, when I saw those fresh pickle and this fresh sauerkraut, and that's where I come from, Alza. So I decided to, I'm sorry, I leave yeah. you on the side. I decided uh, to work on a little dish like this. Uh, we're gonna also use spring onion, and we're gonna do a tartar sauce with that. And again, this is something that you would do in the spring? Yes, in the spring, okay. absolutely. White asparagus in season. So we're gonna start with the tartar sauce. So we're gonna take some mayonnaise, a little mayonnaise, fresh mayonnaise. Approximately two ounces and a half to three ounces. I've got some fresh pickle right here, which has been chopped and diced very thinly. I'm gonna take my little spoon. One ounce. I will also grab the chopped spring onions, which are, they are of course in season. In May, the very mild flavor and sweet, not pungent as, so doesn't overpower your mouth. So you have quite a lot of different tastes going in there. Yes. And sweet but and sour. Exactly, we keep on the sweet, the sweet and sour are basically the bottom of the, the best flavor. And most of uh, Asian restaurants use that, so why not doing the same with the French flair? Little chopped fresh chives. I've got a lot in my garden. Very excited in a couple of weeks mm. to come up and use them. And also, uh, we're gonna have some uh, Meyer lemon. Now, Meyer lemons are local? Meyer lemon are not, are not local, actually, but. Uh, they are in season like maybe three or four months a year. So what I do, I like to use them because they have this little citrus flavor, not as strong as a regular lemon, but also um, this, uh, we're gonna say clementine flair, which should give a little special flavor. So I love I'm my lemons. Tea, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice inside. We're gonna stir it. Of course, we're gonna use a little salt and pepper. Pepper is already incorporated, so I'm gonna just put a pinch of salt. And what kind of salt is that? Uh, we use kosher salt. I like to use kosher salt because when I came like a couple of, uh, year, uh, like 10 years ago, I used to use the thin salt, very thin one. Yeah. And uh, here it's very difficult. I had a hard time to adapt with the kosher salt. Now it's, I think, one of the best we can use. And what is this, whipped cream? This is whipped cream. Heavy cream, just whipped very uh, smoothly. Yummy. And no salt, nothing inside. If you put any salt inside, if you whip your cream, it's gonna become 
uh, like a cheese or butter. It turns very fast. Okay. So like like this, I leave it plain. Sometimes we put a hint of uh, lemon zest inside, but we do have the lemon zest already inside the okay. dish. Uh, the tail is poaching right there. So I think. So the reason why I put whipped cream in the mayonnaise is just to have the mayonnaise is very heavy. Most of the people eat mayonnaise with french fries, with burgers and things like this. But if you want to use that in a classic French restaurant, the fresh whipped cream give a lightness to the mayonnaise. Oh, okay. Interesting, and I'm getting so you starving know. watching this. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna, the sauce is ready. We're gonna grab some uh, little white asparagus, as okay. before. So just salted water, a touch of uh, sugar in the water, just to uh, remove this uh, bitterness. Right. White asparagus, sometimes it's bitter. So Alison, we're gonna do those, the little fago of white asparagus. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna show you one, and you're gonna make the other one. Okay, okay. I'm ready. So let's grab. This spring or summer, enjoy the best outdoor city dining in the heart of Midtown at La Fonda del Sol, Naples 45, Cafe Centro, and the Beer Bar. Whether you're in the mood for tapas and modern Spanish, Italian, and French, or contemporary casual cuisine, our expansive outdoor patios offer the perfect urban backdrop for you to enjoy delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, or after work cocktails. It's all about true food, true family, and, and true fun. The Harvest on Hudson Restaurant is located 12 miles north of New York City along the majestic banks of the Hudson River in Hastings-on-Hudson, New York. Serving lunches and dinner, Harvest offers authentic Mediterranean cuisine with spectacular Hudson River views. Our attentive staff provides you with unsurpassed service, sumptuously prepared dishes served in a warm and friendly atmosphere. The Garden at Harvest is a favorite sunset destination spot and a great place to enjoy delightful appetizers, share a cocktail or glass of wine with friends. Our extensive wine cellar offers a wide selection of vintages and elegant food pairing possibilities. With seating inside or out, you'll enjoy expertly prepared poultry, fresh seafood and meats all cooked to order. For dessert, enjoy fresh fruits, cappuccino, sinful chocolate, and deep dark espresso. Or relax under the stars. For reservations or more information, call 914-478-2800. make a demonstration very quick we're gonna just put a couple of seconds the chives in the hot water so it gets softer okay take the asparagus put them together one time there we go and we try to join it 
if you have time just tie the nut here or just reverse it and serve on a plate like this okay, okay. i'm ready so let's grab around 13 pieces 14 pieces of asparagus okay. shall i do it with you Absolutely. at the same time Why okay not? let's go just the heads will be perfect put them together nice way okay. i'm gonna blanch some little string of chives for you and myself of oh. course there we go Beautiful. so the easiest is when you take the longest one so that's the fun part okay all right so that's yours now, That's did these mine. come from your garden? Uh, those ones, no, not okay. yet. My garden, they are maybe one inch tall right now. Just slide that slide under. Slide it under. The asparagus. Or lift it up and put it on top. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> Little cheating. And then just tie the net. One time, you slide. If you need an extra finger to hold. I probably put a few yeah. too many, but that's okay. There we go. Beautiful. I'm done. What, what about you? I'm done. And just cut at okay. this at this level. At this level, I'm going for it. Ha ha! All right. I did it. Great. Ready voilà. to go. On est prêt. We are we are good to go. <laughs> and how long do you leave the lobsters poaching? Lobster poaching as long as it's out of the the heat. You can stay there for eight to ten minutes if you uh -huh. want. I have always the consistency of a warm lobster. Okay. For the plating, what I like to do is keep it simple on the plate. Very few items, so the the main item is going to pop. It. Start with the sauce. Not too much, but not enough. Very light. So as you see, it looks very fluffy because of the whipped cream. Right. Also, we're going to take our lobster now in the poached path, uh, which... What do we need? Let's take another spoon. Maybe if I bring them here, it's going to be easier for everyone. A little clove. So as you see, the lemon the Maya lemon skin uh, was were infused with the thyme, give an extra hint, give an extra flavor. A lot of olive oil come out of this lobster, so we're gonna put that on the towel, to, just to absorb, sorry I use my hands, <laughs> just to absorb the extra oil we don't need. Okay. We have our little fago of, uh, of white asparagus right here. Put that on the edge of the plate. I've got some Beautiful. outstanding vinaigrette also. We call that vinaigrette vierge, which, yeah, here it is. The vinaigrette vierge, it's, the emulsion doesn't come out because it's just virgin olive oil and uh, Maya lemon juice, salt and black pepper, wow. plain. So, real olive. Must have incredible flavor. Shake it. A little drop on the asparagus. The black pepper came out, as you see. We're gonna put the lobster on our dish and grab. I should be ready. No? And grab some hydro mash, so it grows on a little soft pad. It's clean. There is no sand. It's pre-washed. Wow. And Can't get fresher is. than that. So Alison, the dish is ready. Why we don't try it together in a dining room? I would love to. This spring or summer, enjoy the best outdoor city dining in the heart of Midtown at La Fonda del Sol, Naples 45, Cafe Centro, and the Beer Bar. Whether you're in the mood for tapas and modern Spanish, Italian, in French or contemporary casual cuisine, our expansive outdoor patios offer the perfect urban backdrop for you to enjoy delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, or after work cocktails. Lifting down to down to round and bound and down Broadway, struggling in your Oh, 
about true food, true family, and, and true fun. The Harvest on Hudson Restaurant is located 12 miles north of New York City along the majestic banks of the Hudson River in Hastings-on-Hudson, New York. Serving lunches and dinner, Harvest offers authentic Mediterranean cuisine with spectacular Hudson River views. Our attentive staff provides you with unsurpassed service, sumptuously prepared dishes served in a warm and friendly atmosphere. The Garden at Harvest is a favorite sunset destination spot and a great place to enjoy delightful appetizers, share a cocktail or glass of wine with friends. Our extensive wine cellar offers a wide selection of vintages and elegant food pairing possibilities. With seating inside or out, you'll enjoy expertly prepared poultry, fresh seafood and meats all cooked to order. For dessert, enjoy fresh fruits, cappuccino, sinful chocolate, and deep dark espresso. Or relax under the stars. For reservations or more information, call 914-478-2800. So chef, this looks delicious. Uh, thank you, actually. Might be because you helped me to do this dish. <laughs> so oh, I got it. try this little poached lobster with the pui fumé. So please start. Thank you. First. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Wow. Cut you a little piece of tail. Incredibly so. fresh. If I may. Thank you so much. Wow. It is so delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it is very refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try some of the asparagus too. Mm. It's so flavorful. Can I dig in some more? Absolutely. <laughs> the dish is for you. Thank you so much for having us at the Brasserie today. This was a pleasure from beginning to end. I love being in the kitchen and I absolutely love this dish. It was a pleasure for me to have you two in my kitchen. I mean, cooking together was something I never do often, so thank you for having us. Thank you. I'm Allison Hadar. Thanks for joining us today at the Brasserie.